Although lupus is a very rare autoimmune disease, it is a very, a very challenging one if you are affected. I'll show you an additional treatment path here. Lupus, or the whole name is, lupus erythematosus, is actually an autoimmune skin disease. It is relatively rare, affecting only about 50 people per 100,000 population. The majority affected are women of childbearing age. The skin rashes are reddish, scales occur, and this can appear anywhere on the body. The special thing is they grow. So the rashes start small and then they grow outward in the middle. And in the middle, the redness recedes slightly. The diagnosis is not easy. In most cases, it requires a biopsy. And with lupus, internal organs can also be affected. This is then called systemic lupus. The kidneys, lungs and heart are particularly affected. But basically, any internal organ could be involved. If that is the case, the course of the disease is much more difficult. Now the treatment in conventional medicine, as always with autoimmune diseases, cortisone and immunosuppression are given. Chloroquine is also given to treat lupus which is a malaria remedy that has shown good results. But immunosuppression is always associated with side effects. The immune system is suppressed, and you are susceptible to other infections, and if you do this treatment for years, the quality of life is simply limited. Just as with all other autoimmune diseases, integrative medicine can be used to strengthen the immune system and help the situation. In my view, it is not just as simple as saying that the immune system is sick and is fighting against itself. Because with lupus, only one part of the immune system is involved here, and it pays out to strengthen the healthy part of the immune system with vitamin D and omega-3 fatty acids. And this is the foundation of the immune system. With a little zinc and magnesium, you can also support it. And because lupus is an inflammatory autoimmune disease, anti-inflammatory natural substances are very effective. As an example, OPC. You can find it in berries and grape seeds. That is why it is sometimes called grape seed extract, although it is not the same thing. A very good anti-inflammatory is frankincense. It is also available in capsule form. Then rashi mushroom, a Chinese medicinal mushroom, a very good anti-inflammatory. Chokeberry and other berries have anti-inflammatory properties. These remedies can be used to suppress the inflammatory part. And for the skin diseases, you should also add selenium, zinc and vitamin A. It may be that your doctor is not aware of these things very much. Therefore, with this serious disease, I recommend to always consult an orthomolecularly trained doctor as well. And as with all autoimmune diseases, a gut treatment is an essential part of the process. The intestine is the source or cause of all autoimmune disorders. That is why such diseases must be treated together with a solid gut health treatment. You can find more information below in the description. There is a link to other videos, specifically about gut treatment. Take a look, it's part of the therapy. Es gehört zur Therapie dazu.